Hey, it's your girl LMJ coming to you with today's spiritual inspirational pause. And it's not too late. Let me say this one more time. It's not too late. Your dreams are not so far out of reach. God has not forgot about the promises, the things that he's declared over your life, um, what he was calling you in your mother's womb. That is not abandoned. That is not forgotten. So I'm here to remind you today that it's not too late. Don't you give up on what um, you desire. Don't give up on your destiny. Let me give it to you in the Bible in Genesis 17 and 16. We see Sarai or Sarah um, receiving a promise from God that she would be the mother of many nations. Now, let me tell you something. Sarah was 90 years old. Sarah was 90 years old. What God was saying to her in her old age seemed foolish. Woo! But God's promise for Sarah, his plan for Sarah was bigger and greater than her expectation. But I will tell you something, Sarah did not believe. Oh my God, how many of us has that been? That God promises us or calls us to something. And because it seems so far beyond our capability or beyond our reach, we don't believe. Sarah did not believe. But God had a plan for her in Abraham. He had a promise for her in Abraham. And it was to make them the father and mother of many nations. What has God said to you? Woo! What dream, what dream, what vision has God put down on the inside of you that you've just yet to give birth to? Because you're having a hard time believing. Oh my goodness. That plan for you has not changed. As a matter of fact, the word of God says the promise is yes, and it's amen, and amen seems so, means so be it. So I dare you today to start to dream again. I dare you today to open up those notebooks and those journals and those things that you had begun to write your story, Ooh, and just begin to steward the prophecy so that you can give birth, so that you can walk in the fullness of what God you come to. Time is not throwing you out. Oh, I'm going to say it one more time. Time is, not, time is not throwing you out. The devil is so predictable. He'll make you think that time is working against you. When time will really be working for you to receive the promise. Sometimes God is maturing us in what seems like a delayed season. Oh my God. Come on now. But if the enemy can get you to abort the promise, he knows that your dream will not be fulfilled. Can I share one more thing with you this morning? Your dream is connected to a bigger vision. Ooh, <laughs> your dream is connected to a bigger vision. You may seem like one man, man or one woman and that there's only so much that you can do. But what God has called you to do is connected to something greater than you. So I dare you, I triple dog dare you to pull out your books, pull out your journals, pull out your notes and start to dream again. Ask the Holy Spirit, fan the flame, stir my gifts up. Ooh, put that desire deep down on my heart to fulfill my purpose and walk in the fullness of who God called you to be. Can I pray for us? Oh my God, steward the dream, baby. Steward the dream. It is not too late. I care how old you are. You can get married. You can, you can start that business. Oh, God made you more than a conqueror. And I just needed to share that with you today. Let me pray for us. Father God, fan the flame. Woo! Holy Spirit, fan the flame so that we may receive so that we may walk into the fullness of who you called us to be in Christ Jesus. Do not let our dreams die on the paper. <laughs> Do not let our dreams die in what ifs. My God, our if only is in you, Father God. So we thank you for the strength. We thank you for the promise. And we thank you for the amen in Jesus' name. Amen. If you want to know more about the ministry, log on to the website, LakeishaMJohnson.com.